if all teams didn't worry about tactics or style of play, yeah. so there was none of that, everyone agreed, we're not going to do that, we're just going to play, would it be a more entertaining game or less entertaining game? Under Marcelo, we used to have individual meetings the, the night before the game in the with hotel. Everyone. He did? Yeah, yeah with oh, every idiot. player, yeah. Um, which would go through your last game and then also kind of, I guess, give you tips or tell you what you need to do for this the game the next day. Because I remember on one app you said sometimes you're given like, in this game, I really want you to focus on blank. You know, like I remember you saying, you sometimes come off and you go, oh, I forgot I was not I was meant to. So yeah. sometimes you go really, I don't know, try and play off a certain defender or whatever. Yeah, that's more like with the striker guy that I was working with. Kind oh, of. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so the they're the things. But like the, the manager, it's different. So Marcelo did that with um, the individual meetings, but then like under our manager now, We'll do training through the week. We'll there'll be a theme in training which will translate into the game. You know, so it's means. relevant to who you're playing, basically. Yeah, there'll be something that we'll do that obviously is going to happen a lot in in the game. There's so 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 it's sort of more team based and individual as a as a role, right? Okay, yeah. let's get. Yeah. Um, uh, can you? Are there, yeah, this is this this is a good question. Even if I say it myself, can you think of an example of something that a manager told you uh, going into a game that did make a hell of a difference? Where you're like, oh, flipping out, that's that's cool. Um, not like specific, but one thing I do remember is during the weeks before or during the week leading up to the game, when under Marcelo, he would literally say this is how the game's going to go. And if they're going to score, they're going to score like this. And this is how we're going to score. And this is what's going to... And I kid you not, it was like he had a crystal ball and he'd seen the game already. Because every week, he would get it bang on. Like, he knew that if they're going to score... It's a shame he can't have a bet, isn't it, really? (laughs) (laughs) Honestly, it it was incredible. He knew everything that happened and everything that did happen, he'd called it like the the days before. It was, it's just honestly, it was mind blowing. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to be a manager. Um, <laughs> does a well drilled team, tactically drilled team, beat an, a a not well drilled team full of better players in the Champions League? Obviously, all the teams are unbelievable, but PSG when they had all the players like oh god, yeah, the, well everyone, yeah. you'd say their team was incredible that like they should win, but then you had a team that all worked together. And mm. were cohesive, and they end up winning. So, I, I guess yeah, to a point. But Dr- then, drill, drilled wins basically. But yeah, but then there's always the risk that like when you've got a team with such good players, they can always just pull rabbit out of hat anytime. Because I feel like that's sort of where the World Cup's interesting, because you're never going to be as well drilled as a club side, are you? So there's no, some, yeah, there's some. It's a little less. I don't know. Like it's a bit more ad hoc, I should imagine, to a degree. You can't, yeah. you can't, you can't instill like no, you do with it. They don't have as much time, so it's it'd be unless I guess unless the managers worked with that set, set of players for years. Yeah, true. But even yeah. then, it's is yeah. It, is that why you probably like an England manager tries not to sort of because we always get frustrated by not. Um, trying more players as a fan mm. you're like yeah is that that's probably why they don't isn't it so it's like like Gareth Southgate's thinking no the, what I need to work with the same players going towards a to I imagine some of it's that and mm. understanding like the tactics that they're trying to put in so that he's got an idea leading up to whatever tournament's coming up but I guess then there's there are there are games where it's the right time to mix mm. people in and, and things like that if all teams didn't worry about tactics or style of play, yeah. so there was none of that, everyone agreed, we're not going to do that, we're just going to play, would it be a more entertaining game or less entertaining game? So it was a, it was like a, a shit fight. Like we're just, ah, fucking, you know, there's an overhead kicks uh-huh. happening everywhere, loads of space, nine all. I'm just saying. 
Because you do kind of stop each other scoring quite a lot, don't you? Yeah, but I feel like... If I... That's a tough one. That's like saying, <laughs> would it be more interesting with teams without managers? <laughs> yeah, which is an excellent question I think I may have asked as well. <laughs> um, you know what I mean, though? Everyone was like, right, it's almost, it's almost like we rename it Freestyle. Yeah, so no, everyone... <laughs> I, get what you, I get what you mean. It, it would be carnage, I think. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But we'd be like, be like, sort of, we'd all be in the crowd going, yeah, we scored 18. This is insane. <laughs> we also conceded 24. Yeah, defenders would lose their heads at that, I think. <laughs> I'm guessing we'll never know. <laughs> 